and welcome to VOI Weekly. I'm Kumbi Abboluade. The Bank of Industry has once again joined the list of organizations that appreciated its customers during this year's Customer Service Week. The high point of the activity was the induction of top customers with outstanding financial performance for the year into the 2024 Hall of Fame. The Bank of Industries Hall of Fame was introduced in 2014 to honor some of its customers who have shown excellent performance by repaying loans granted to them. Since then, the bank takes out time to show appreciation to its loan beneficiaries as they strive towards ensuring industrial growth in the country. Once again, welcome to the program. Officials of the Bank of Industry are converging on this hall to celebrate the 2024 Customers Week, as well as appreciate customers for their contribution to the nation's social economic growth. <laughs> Customer Service Week is a global event celebrated annually in October to honor customers as well as recognize people who serve and support customers. It is also an opportunity to appreciate the hardworking team members and highlight the importance of customer service in business success. As part of activities to celebrate the day, the Bank of Industry inducted some of its customers into its Hall of Fame to honor those who had an outstanding financial performance. Esteemed customers. The managing director of the Bank of Industry, Dr. Olashupo Ulusi, praised the outstanding customers for their role in nation building. A customer is the most important visitor on our premises. He is not dependent on us. We are dependent on him. He is not an interruption to our work. He is the purpose of it. He is not an outsider in our business. He is part of it. He is not doing, we are not doing him a favor by serving him. He is doing us a favor by giving us an opportunity to do so. And it is in this spirit that I am honored to welcome you all as we induct outstanding individuals and businesses into the prestigious BOI Hall of Fame. Today we celebrate success, resilience, and the unwavering commitment to excellence that defines this elite group. The BOI Hall of Fame was established in 2014 and it recognizes those who have demonstrated exemplary performance in managing and repaying the credit facilities extended to them by the bank. These honorees have not only excelled in their fields, but also upheld the highest standards of integrity, discipline, and financial responsibility. As a result, we have mutually benefited for both uh, we've mutually benefited outcomes for both the bank and our customers. Their efforts contribute to providing locally produced goods and services that drive job creation, GDP growth, and economic development in our great nation, Nigeria. This ceremony goes beyond acknowledging accomplishments. It honors the values of character, innovation, and integrity that have sustained these businesses over time. Since its inception, the Hall of Fame has inducted 10 remarkable individuals and companies, all of whom have made a lasting impact on their respective industries and on our economy. Membership in the Hall of Fame brings both responsibility and privilege. As inductees, you join an exclusive network of visionaries who have shaped the industrial landscape of our great nation. You become role models for future entrepreneurs and gain access to greater collaboration, mentorship, and support from the Bank of Industry. He also identified trust between lender and borrower as the cornerstone of economic development. At the heart of each inductee's success is financial discipline. Despite a challenging global environment, our Hall of Fame members have consistently met their credit commitments. This trust between lender and borrower is the foundation of sustainability, enabling growth, innovation, and prosperity. As we face new economic challenges, the resilience and ingenuity of our Hall of Fame members remain vital. Your determination and integrity have been a source of inspiration to the Bank of Industry and to the nation. 
To our new inductees, congratulations on this exceptional achievement. Your perseverance and business acumen have earned you this honor, and we trust that you will continue to lead and inspire future generations. Thank you for your continued partnership with the Bank of Industry. Congratulations once again. After his speech, Dr. Olusi then presented plaques to deserving business owners. Congratulations, ma'am. Project is ranked as one of the foremost indigenous metering companies in Nigeria and the company manufacturers with a workforce of over 500 people, product categories in DOI, you are doing so well in so many sectors. And the most important thing is quiet. There's no noise made. You just deliver what you give people quietly and they go. And they go ahead with it and report back to you. So I want to, uh, I require a few pharmaceutical industries here. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> because many occasions they forget. So I'm happy to be here and you've done a lot. And what you want us to do, we will. But are you going to train us? <laughs> I think you wanted us to coach and dinner. You know, so we are willing because our young people, they are our future. And it is our responsibility to train them. We have the most intelligent young people in the world. But we must train them. We must encourage them. When they need your loan, you have to give them. There's no other country but Nigeria in progress. We don't go anywhere else. And you know one very funny thing? Do I believe in this country? Yes, I believe in this country. Because there are a few institutions in this country that are still working. Yeah. The bank industry, all I can say to you, like they say in Igbo, it means just keep on doing what you're doing because you're doing it well. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. That Nigeria will become great again and become yes. one. Yes. And grow to one. We preach in our in our in our in our tantrum with people like you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Some entrepreneurs who got the awards expressed their joy over the support they've received from the Bank of Industry so far. The fact that we come across came across of uh, BY, it was a very good experience and uh, they are they are people of integrity. They don't take bribe to deposit your money. They don't do anything to dispose your money. They even give you advice. I remember the first man I met, we were about to take so much money, and I was afraid, say, Mama, take it, don't worry. Just make sure your staff did very well with the, with the money. And he encouraged us, we took it, and we come back and come back again, and we are paying back to them. So the fact that they don't demand anything from you, no bribe, which the Bible say bribe will blank your face. You cannot be able to talk because if you have taken 50% of the money from me or 40%, I will like pay back. So they don't even take one time. So they are people, they are bank of integrity. And I believe if government can expand their cause, they will help a lot of industry and a lot of new people will stand up through them. And they will build the nation. So to me, it's a great award today and I'm so thankful to God because I told God, if you don't teach me the way of righteousness, I won't be able to pay the money back. Some people take money and they don't pay back, but we pay back. And that's why we're able to come back. And that's why we are having, we are being given the award of all of fame. 
So we give God the glory and we thank God. And I pray that BOS should continue in the way of integrity, transparency of lending that make their customer to come back and pay them back their money. I pray that God continue to strengthen them, give them more wisdom. And I pray that Nigeria, God of Samaria, will visit us, our country will rise again. To be honest, uh, without BOI, a lot of projects cannot be done. And uh, straight to the point, they make things very simple, okay, uh, for an investor. Uh, of course, uh, we would like to thank them. At the same time, uh, we, we are supporting the economy, we are su supporting job creation, and uh, a lot of families that uh, to just put this uh, growth in the, in the GDP. Now, um, uh, again, I, I want to uh, thank uh, BOI for the trust in uh, Giovanna's industry and in the group. And uh, currently, we have a lot of products uh, on, uh, in the pipeline and we are waiting the support from BOI. A big uh, thank you for BOI and for their trust in us. The Bank of Industries Hall of Fame was introduced in 2014 to honor some of its customers who have shown excellent performance by repaying loans granted to them. Recently, the Managing Director of the Bank of Industry, Dr. Olashuko Lucy, alongside the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, as well as heads of other development finance institutions, attended a meeting to further push for women's contribution to the nation's socio-economic development. At the meeting, a Declaration of Commitment for Women Entrepreneurs Finance Code was launched. The Women Entrepreneurs Finance Code is an initiative expected to see more support for businesses owned by women. It's an event put together by development finance institutions to further push for the potential of women's contribution to the nation's socio-economic development. The meeting, which is a declaration of commitment for women entrepreneurs, finance code, is a venture which will see more support for businesses owned by women. The managing director of the Bank of Industry, Dr. Olashuk Lucy, the central bank governor, Mr. Olayemi Kadusu, and the managing director of the Development Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Tony Okwanachi, as well as representatives of finance institutions, were at the meeting. We have done a few the initiative, which is now operational in 24 countries, with Nigeria being the latest on the list, marks a significant step for the growth of micro, small and medium businesses owned by women. Hey, we celebrate the managing director of the Bank of Industry states how the bank is providing funding to women-owned businesses to improve their income, lead to growth towards industrialization and create jobs. We celebrate a significant step in Nigeria's journey towards gender equality and financial inclusion for women entrepreneurs. The formal adoption of the WeFi code in Nigeria symbolizes our shared pursuit of gender equality, economic empowerment, and financial inclusion for our women-led enterprises. As one of the champions of this initiative, the Bank of Industry remains steadfast in its commitment to empowering women-owned MSMEs, ensuring that they have the resources, the access, and opportunities needed to succeed. Women, as you all know, remain the backbone of economic development in Nigeria and indeed in Africa. However, the barriers they face in accessing finance have often constrained their full potential. Through our dedicated gender desk, the Bank of Industry provides tailored support to address these barriers. And as of December 2023, we have financed nearly 1,000 women-owned, women-led businesses and disbursing about 99 billion naira to them to help them thrive. Looking ahead, the Bank of Industry recognizes the need to focus on gender development and has prioritized gender as one of our six thematic areas of focus. To this end, BOI has developed a comprehensive gender strategy that will shape our efforts over the next couple of years. He then lists the total loan support received by women. As part of this bold vision, we, have, we are committed to allocating at least 15% of our risk assets to women-owned and led MSMEs, a clear demonstration of our resolve to expand financial access 
and foster the growth of women entrepreneurs nationwide in line with His Excellency President Bala Ahmed Tinubu's renewed up agenda. Through the WIFI code, we are taking decisive steps to dismantle the barriers women face. By leveraging data and uniting key stakeholders, we aim to ensure a more equitable distribution of financial resources. This initiative aligns with Nigeria's national financial inclusion strategy and reinforces our goal of closing the gender gap in access to finance. We are proud to be part of this transformative movement and I thank our collaborators, the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Development Bank of, Niger of Nigeria, and all other stakeholders for their dedication to this cause. Together, we are creating lasting change for the prosperity of our nation. The governor of the Central Bank earlier in his speech explained that the signing of the latest agreement will give a boost to the nation's industrialization vision. The WeFi Code is a commitment by financial service providers, FSPs, regulators, development banks, and other financial ecosystem players to work together to increase funding provision to women-owned and women-led micro, small, and medium enterprises around the world. Over 400 million women entrepreneurs around the world have vast potential to grow their businesses, add value to the economy, and create jobs. But they lack the financing to achieve their goals. This group represents a $1.7 trillion growth opportunity for financial services providers, FSPs, and five to six trillion dollars in potential value addition to the global economy. In Nigeria, the Women's World Banking Survey reported that the Nigerian women's entrepreneurial activities was higher than their male counterparts by 4%. <coughs> That deserves a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> However, 75% of the women's potential market in Nigeria remain unserved or underserved. A 294 billion market opportunity that is yet to be fully tapped. That is, while we see that the women are generally doing better than the men worldwide, we see that in Nigeria, there is a lot of gap and a huge amount of opportunity to fill this gap. Consequently, this initiative presents a tremendous opportunity to unlock the economic potential of women entrepreneurs across our nation to help them expand their businesses and contribute to the overall economic growth of the country. As you may be aware, the current National Financial Inclusion Strategy, NFIS3, identified women as one of the five most financially excluded segments in the country, alongside youth, MSMEs, rural, and northern Nigeria. Therefore, the need to develop and implement policies and offer suitable products that cater to these segments cannot be overemphasized. As the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Bank of Industry, BOI, and the Development Bank of Nigeria, DBN, the three national champions make this public declaration of commitment 
to the WeFi code. We are committing to leading by example and urging all stakeholders in the financial ecosystem to also adopt the code as part of our collective drive to enhance the financial inclusion of women entrepreneurs in Nigeria. And then heads of development finance institutions in the country give highlight of their support for women-owned businesses. This code represents more than just a policy or a statement of intent. It is a bold commitment to addressing one of the most pleasant challenges in our financial ecosystem, the persistent gender gap in access to finance. The National Financial Inclusion Strategy identifies women as a critical segment necessary to achieve the ambitious goal of 95% financial inclusion. This includes millions of women whose untapped business potential will contribute significantly to our economy if given the right support. Today's commitment to the WeFi code aligns seamlessly with our ongoing efforts to support women entrepreneurs in Nigeria. At the Development Bank of Nigeria, DBN, we recognize the critical role that women play in the MSME sector and we take deliberate actions to support their growth and development. Today, ladies and gentlemen, DBN has disbursed over 187 billion since inception through its participating financial institutions to more than 357,000 women owned businesses, which now accounts for 72% of our beneficiaries. The World Bank is excited that Nigeria is taking this step. Uh, it's a major milestone uh, and one uh, where we will be more than pleased uh, to support you in. Um, as you know, we've been uh, a very keen supporter to all three of your institutions in terms of your broader mandates. Um, but this is a particular uh, agenda that is very much worthwhile in terms of pursuing. Uh, we see uh, the WeFi code uh, and your championship of it as a first step in terms of recognizing that to close this gap uh, for finance for women entrepreneurs, we need commitment, not only from the three of you, but from what uh, the heads of uh, FIDU called a national coalition of financial service providers uh, to take on the code as well, to start having women gender disaggregated data so that we know where the sector stand. And then start a process of innovation where solutions will be brought to the table uh, to close uh, that gap. So today is a major milestone, is the first step. I am aware mid-November you're aiming to do this second big push and get all the uh, financial service providers on board uh, for a national coalition towards uh, this very important goal. Uh, so our role is here just uh, to congratulate you in the commitment to doing so and being here, uh, we hope as always, uh, to support you in the many challenges that you're trying to address uh, forcefully. Done with the speeches, the central bank governor and heads of development finance institutions signed the declaration of commitment to the Women Entrepreneurs Finance Code. The gesture is expected to create accelerated support for women who often face challenges in doing business. Would you like to take your business to a higher level through the support that the Bank of Industry provides? The bank's highly experienced and professional staff are ever ready to offer more information to you. You can access BOI services by visiting any of the bank's 33 state offices nationwide using the addresses displayed on your screen or log on to their website at www.boi.ng.
I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please keep your date with us same time next week. I'm Kumbi Abuluadi. Bye for now. <laughs>